Welcome back. The artist you're about to meet now doesn't use a palette, an easel, or a chisel. Yet Lisa Liu's works have earned her a reputation that rivals the great masters of the art world. It also earned her a place in the Guinness Book of Records. At first glance, it looks like a kitchen for elves. But this is no fairy tale miniature. It's a life-size kitchen of beads. The kitchen and its companion piece, the equally life-size, equally beaded backyard, are the work of Topanga, California artist Liza Liu, who holds the Guinness record for the most beads used in a work of art. 40 million of them. They're small, 20 to a foot. Yet if they were all strung together, they would stretch 379 miles, or as far as Los Angeles to San Francisco. I use beads that are the size of your shoelace tip. They're called bugle beads, and they're all made out of glass. So you get this incredible um, light with this. This is, for me, beads are the ultimate paint. A three-dimensional paint that requires far more labor than brush strokes. The kitchen is 12 feet by 14 feet. Creating it took 20 gallons of glue, one ton of lumber, and 10,400 hours of monotonous repetition that might have drained the life out of others. I mean, everything I do takes a really long time. You need to put beads on with the tweezers. When I started the kitchen, I thought it would take six months. <laughs> Five years later, I realized I'm not very good at time management. But even a beaded kitchen needs a view, so her next project was the backyard a monumental piece that used three times as many beads as the kitchen. And each blade of grass is made one at a time with, um, you know, wire. You take a bead and you thread it on a piece of wire. And I realized to do that would take me probably 10 years alone. So she asked for volunteers to help, and in Southern California, where lawns are sacred, more than 1,000 people came forward to string her glass clover together. I'm gonna walk in someday and say, oh, I think it's part of that grass, and it's, it's a very, very exciting feeling. Every detail from the bees to the beers is an act of beating obsession. People always wanna know if I'm crazy. <laughs> I always tell them that, you know, you, when you love what you're doing, it seems normal to you. Ultimately, Liza Liu's goal isn't to hide reality, just to alter it one bead at a time. I'm going to beat the world. And beating the world's kind of a way of improving everyday life. Maybe I can't change the world, but at least I can make it look better. Lisa Lou, you are the Michelangelo of beads. Stay with us.